Not to be confused with melondialdehyde, a different chemical that is also abbreviated as MDA. 3. 4 methylene dioxyamphetamine MDA, is an empathogen intactogen, psychostimulant, and psychedelic drug of the amphetamine family that is encountered mainly as a recreational drug. In terms of pharmacology, MDA acts most importantly as a serotonin norepinephrine dopamine releasing agent SNDRA. Due to its euphoriant and hallucinogenic effects, the drug is a controlled substance and its possession and sale are illegal in most countries. MDA is rarely sought after as a recreational drug compared to other drugs in the amphetamine family, however it remains an important and widely used drug due to it being a primary metabolite, the product of hepatic endealkylation, of MDMA, ecstasy. In addition, it is not uncommon to find MDA as an adulterant of illicitly produced MDMA. Uses Medical MDA currently has no accepted medical use. Recreational Although illegal, MDA is bought, sold, and used as a recreational love drug due to its enhancement of mood and empathy. A recreational dose of MDA is sometimes cited as being between 100 and 160 mg. Adverse effects MDA produces serotonergic neurotoxic effects, thought to be activated by initial metabolism of MDA. In addition, MDA activates a response of the neuroglia, though this subsides after use. Overdose Symptoms of acute toxicity may include agitation, sweating, increased blood pressure and heart rate, dramatic increase in body temperature, convulsions, and death. Death is usually caused by cardiac effects and subsequent hemorrhaging in the brain, stroke. Interactions Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics MDA is a substrate of the serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, and vesicular monoamine transporters, as well as a TAAR1 agonist, and for these reasons acts as a reuptake inhibitor and releasing agent of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, that is, it is an SNDRA. It is also an agonist of the serotonin 5-HT2A, 5-HT2B, and 5-HT2C receptors and shows affinity for the alpha-2A, alpha-2B, and alpha-2C adrenergic receptors and serotonin 5-HT1A and 5-HT7 receptors. The S optical isomer of MDA is more potent than the R optical isomer as a psychostimulant, possessing greater affinity for the three monoamine transporters. In terms of the subjective and behavioral effects of MDA, it is thought that serotonin release is required for its empathogen intactogen effects. Release of dopamine and norepinephrine is responsible for its psychostimulant effects. Dopamine release is necessary for its euphoriant, rewarding and addictive effects, and direct agonism of the serotonin 5-HT2A receptor is causative of its psychedelic effects. Comparison with MDMA The effect on serotonin may explain the similar intactogenic effects of MDMA and MDA. However, S MDA has higher potency as an agonist of the 5-HT2A receptor than R MDMA, thus MDA tends to cause more psychedelic-like effects, such as visual hallucinations. MDMA can also produce psychedelic-like visual effects, though these are generally less pronounced than those of MDA or require higher doses to become apparent. Relative to MDMA, MDA is also a more potent releasing agent of norepinephrine and dopamine and hence is more stimulating in comparison. In addition, MDMA is slightly less neurotoxic to serotonergic neurons than MDA at the same dose. This is in contrast to methamphetamine and amphetamine, where the latter is not neurotoxic but the former methylated form is. Pharmacokinetics The duration of the drug has been reported as about 6 to 8 hours. Chemistry MDA is a substituted methylene dioxylated phenethylamine and amphetamine derivative. In relation to other phenethylamines and amphetamines, it is the 3, 4 methylene dioxy, alpha methyl derivative of beta phenylethylamine, the 3, 4 methylene dioxy derivative of amphetamine, and the endomethyl derivative of MDMA. 
Synonyms in addition to 3, 4 methylenedioxyamphetamine, MDA is also known by other chemical synonyms such as the following, alpha methyl 3, 4 methylenedioxy beta phenylethylamine 1, 3, 4 methylenedioxyphenyl, minus 2 propanamine 1, 1, 3 benzodioxol 5 yl, minus 2 propanamine synthesis MDA is typically synthesized from essential oils such as saffron or piperonal. Common approaches from these precursors include, reaction of safrol's alkene functional group with a halogen containing mineral acid followed by amine alkylation. Wacker oxidation of safrol to yield 3,4-methylenedioxyphenylpropan-2,1-MDP2P, -E 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 -MDP followed by reductive amination or via reduction of its oxime. Henry reaction of piperonal with nitroethane followed by nitro compound reduction. Darzin's reaction on heliotropin was also done by J. Elks, et al. This gives MDP2P, which was then subjected to a Lukert reaction. Detection in body fluids MDA may be quantitated in blood, plasma or urine to monitor for use, confirm a diagnosis of poisoning or assist in the forensic investigation of a traffic or other criminal violation or a sudden death. Some drug abuse screening programs rely on hair, saliva, or sweat as specimens. Most commercial amphetamine immunoassay screening tests cross-react significantly with MDA and major metabolites of MDMA, but chromatographic techniques can easily distinguish and separately measure each of these substances. The concentrations of MDA in the blood or urine of a person who has taken only MDMA are, in general, less than 10% those of the parent drug. Derivatives MDA constitutes part of the core structure of the beta-adrenergic receptor agonist protocol. History MDA was first synthesized by C. Manick and W. Jacobson in 1910. It was first ingested in July 1930 by Gordon Allis who later licensed the drug to Smith, Klein and French. MDA was first used in animal tests in 1939, and human trials began in 1941 in the exploration of possible therapies for Parkinson's disease. From 1949 to 1957, more than 500 human subjects were given MDA in an investigation of its potential use as an antidepressant and or anorectic by Smith, Klein and French. The United States Army also experimented with the drug, codenamed EA-1298, while working to develop a truth drug or incapacitating agent. Harold Blower died in January 1953 after being intravenously injected, without his knowledge nor consent, with 450 mg of the drug as part of Project MKUltra. MDA was patented as a cough suppressant by H.D. Brown in 1958, as an ataractic by Smith, Klein and French in 1960, and as an anorectic under the trade name, Amphidoxamine, in 1961. MDA began to appear on the recreational drug scene around 1963 to 1964. It was then inexpensive and readily available as a research chemical from several scientific supply houses. Several researchers, including Claudio Naranjo and Richard Jensen, have explored MDA in the field of psychotherapy. Society and culture name when MDA was under development as a potential pharmaceutical drug, it was given the international non-proprietary name, IN, of tenamphetamine. Legal status Australia MDA is Schedule 9 prohibited substance under the poison standards. A Schedule 9 substance is listed as a substances which may be abused or misused, the manufacture, possession, sale or use of which should be prohibited by law except when required for medical or scientific research, or for analytical, teaching or training purposes with approval of Commonwealth and or state or territory health authorities. United States MDA is a Schedule 1 controlled substance in the U.S. Research in 2010, the ability of MDA to invoke mystical experiences and alter vision in healthy volunteers was studied. References External links Arrowid MDA Vault MDA Entry in PECAL MDA Entry in PECAL Info